Ruby madam, please begin. Good morning. Good morning. So then, uh, shall we begin, ma'am? Mm -hmm, sure. Facilities by midwife during childbirth. As we know, midwife has a vital role in conduction of deliveries, and they are performing their well work well. But simultaneously, we have seen many of the midwives could not perform their work up to the level because of handling of the challenges facing the world, especially in developing countries where maternal mortality and very the mortality ratio have barely fallen in few last years, even as other health indicators have improved. Midwives play principal role in conduction of delivery. She should be more careful while handling the cases. But sometimes we found that due to the inappropriate, inappropriate facilities, it could not be happened and the death chances could be increased. For enhancement more about the topic, we have the eminent speaker, Professor Dr. Usha Malik Okandi. Let me brief, briefly introduce about the ma'am. Ma'am is a former principal and professor for Islam College of Nursing in Dor. She did her basic uh, nursing and post graduation from CNC Ludhiana and PG at Indigar, won gold medals in both, and obtained her PhD in nursing. She has, she has editor in chief in Indian Journal of Nursing Studies. She is president of Nursing Honor Society and Mental Health Alliance. She is advisor in SOMI and Nursing Research Society of India. She has more than 50 years of professional experiences on nursing and midwifery practices, academics, research, and administration. She is recipient of various awards and honors like. Hall of Fame by Nursing Honor Society of India. She has been a resource person for UNICEF and OS Edge projects launched the journal India Journal of Nursing Studies. She has presented more than 100 research papers in national and international journal conferences. And she has interest in development of maternal and child health, nursing education, and practice, yoga, and alternative health. After retirement, uh, for the regular job in 19, 2019, has launched her own publication house named Malik Publications. And the midwife led clinical miracle on motherhood, mom to prepare the women for normal and natural birth. Ma'am is a very active in field of nursing and always she is doing innovatively. With these words, I would like to invite ma'am to proceed the session. Thank you, Ruby. <laughs> Uh, am I audible? Yes. Yes. You can hear me. Hmm? Shall I start? Uh, it's a pleasure to be associated with Parul University. Uh, you people do a lot of good work, and this is another good work that you're doing. Is that you are promoting midwives to be more sensitive to the needs of the women by, you know, having this particular session on uh, respectful materna maternity care. So uh, I can straight away start with my presentation and then we will have the discussion. Can we have the presentation, Ruby? You will present it? Yes, Is it visible, ma'am? Yeah, it's visible. Thank you. Uh, so the topic uh, which has been given to me 
mishandling of women in health care facilities by midwives during childbirth i did have an objection to this topic i mean the the language ruby i you did ask me yesterday so instead yes, of changing it here i am changing it further in my next this thing because i don't like mishandling thing i do not like that only midwives are doing this no the, all the people are doing it right, that right. is the reason we should not um pinpoint only the midwives it is everybody's responsibility yes yes okay yes. can i have the next slide please ah okay so i did say that i did not uh, like the language of the topic uh, nevertheless um, we are we are communicating with each other it is not something i am lecturing uh, we are communicating and we are trying to tell what is inside our hearts so in other words we can say there is respect disrespectful maternity care and why should we even use that disrespect we would say we would rather use positive words that is being deprived of respectful maternity care women are being deprived of respectful maternity care not only by nurses and midwives all the staff uh, that are there in the maternity uh, care facilities in the hospitals so we will concentrate on that can i have the next slide okay uh, still let us see ki uh, what are the common misbehaviors that and abuses that are uh, done by the staff um, about the women who is who comes for uh, for a uh, for her uh, child birth we don't even use the word delivery you know please those who are attending it mark my words we should not use the word delivery but it is because it is being used all the time we say it's child birth it is birth birth of the child are we delivering a parcel delivery word is not to be used for giving birth to the child it's child birth anyways so what we usually what happen usually happens is not bothered about providing privacy many people i have seen once me and prakashama i think you people are familiar with prakashama who is the founder of so me we were there in somewhere and doing the kind of not inspection but going to see the places and there one of the government institutions in madhya pradesh we went and a woman was lying in front in the table on the table and the do- window just in front was open curtains were there though there but they were not even um, pulled Uh, to uh, pro- provide the privacy so means people usually do not bother ki privacy is also needed by the women then they use some disrespectful language i don't want to speak those things here we all know those of us who had had the experience of being in a labor room where especially in a in a in a place where there are too many women coming um, and uh, it becomes a habit of people to not to use, not to respect them uh, sometimes even abusing them physically again a very tragic thing that does happen i have some uh, examples of these things not explaining per- taking permission about procedures to be done we always say in nursing explain the procedure you know hamara jo nursing mein hota hai explain the procedure to the patient that is in words once you start practicing are you really explaining every time the way you were explaining during your training period and to these women they just go ahead and do the pv examination or they don't even explain what they are going to do okay not asking the women's opinion not allowing companion of the choice very important government of india who made it a policy that there should be a companion of women's choice in the labor room where she is having the baby the child being born no people don't do it again ignoring women's request for comfortable position she says oh i am not comfortable i am not comfortable and still you people will ignore it not involving women in decision making badi dur ki baat hai decision making mein to she is not at all she is just treated like uh, anybody coming i mean she is an object and we are working with her and there is no need she is not a human being no no we do not usually we do not involve them in decision making forcing women to unnecessary medical intervention it is not women's choice to have um, um, induction of labor she doesn't want her uh, uh, i will be i will have time and i will discuss few such uh, um, uh, examples where somebody said that no i don't want this and the, the doctor got very angry 
Uh, okay, so we force them. Uh, we do not even ask their permission, and we force on them uh, medical interventions like um, uh, for pain relief and for drip, putting a drip, oxytocin drip, all those things. And abandonment, left alone without care. You put a drip, pitocin drip, and she starts having pain. She's a lot of pain, and there's nobody around. After delivery, she's left alone, and that is why many a times we see that she's in PPH. You just open, oh, she's 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 becoming uh, very pale, and you look, there is a pool of blood she is in because we had left her. We had not even looked after her. This is what happens, and discrimination. On social, in in outside in America, it is black and white and 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 uh, Asians. Here in India, it is the high class and low class. So there is a discrimination. There is not much of discrimination about caste, creed, etc. But definitely there is a discrimination about your social status. Then retention. Sometimes, beta hua hai, mithai deke jaoge, aise nahi jaane denge. You know that kind of thing. bribery even money money you know in government hospital the mother gets uh, incentive from the government and the people who are working there they want to have their share this is also happening this is this is something really happening or in private hospitals you are not paid the bill and we will not allow you to go so you train the person for such things so these are few things you can even add more from your own experiences so some of these things and let's see what we are doing for it okay next so let us focus on the solution we need the solution to this problem and we are not going to discuss more about what they do but yes some things will come and there again something will be coming that this is also what they do okay so let's see what solutions we have <clears throat> next now uh, at government of india in 2018 they started a uh, a program of advanced midwifery practice a big program at national level that is the government of india's um, initiative that national midwifery guidelines were prepared and how they will support respect with that respectful maternity care was one very very important component in that now during this time um, white ribbon alliance for safe motherhood we call it wrai uh, which is it's a international international organization also active in very active in india and uh, they uh, they are supporting the integration of respect they mentioned it mainly into training and standards of for healthcare providers including midwives through collaboration with organizations such as icmr tnai and somi so we were the four major organizations who worked together with government of india in Uh, creating that new guidelines for midwifery and including RMC, that is respectful maternity care, as a very important component in that. Next, next. Ah, oh, okay. The background is that uh, in December 2018, Government of India took a landmark policy decision to provide midwifery services through midwife-led care and release the guidelines on midwifery services in India for states. now this came in december but the pro program started in may may 8 2018 where you know we were already at choitram indore we were having our natural birthing center government of india came to know about it through um, leela varki if you people know leela varki have seen her she is a person she is a nurse who is in delhi going working with government of india working with um, um, the white ribbon alliance and uh, she told about our organization to the government and somebody from government came to visit our center they came around and then saw it uh, and they called it indoor model and they invited me to be part of the technical advisory group all already uh, tnai inc so me were there and some other people were also there so we worked on this document which we got ready by december 2018 the aim is to take up midwifery initiative with plans to implement midwifery services through midwife led care i must say that gujarat is the first state for doing it in a very nice way very you are the people who are really doing it at government level maybe in private also 
uh, this advanced midwifery course and midwifery led uh, clinics uh, midwifery led uh, uh, labor room where definitely mothers will get better uh, this thing uh, 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 care mm, gone your slides are gone hello something happened anyways it's back. oh yes ma'am stay yes ma'am okay ha huh. now uh, this this okay that slide will be fine role of npm npm means nurse practitioner in midwifery you know we in india we have started at least two such program nurse midwife nurse practitioner in midwifery and nurse practitioner in critical care that is why inc has started we need more in all areas nurse practitioners in uh, geriatric care we need in others okay so we are talking about midwives so the midwives which will be prepared through this 18 months specialized advanced midwifery course they will be when they are mentioned as npms are key providers to provide the quality of care to women uh, needing reproductive maternal and newborn services the aim is that once appointed npms become an integral partner of maternity care team as they as key change makers to improve quality of the care and improve the uh, experiences of the women so that is why we are emphasizing a lot on uh, midwives that it, it is through them we can make any difference that we want to make in the care of the women especially in the uh, in providing them respectful maternity care to ensure that npms have the attitude knowledge and skills to ensure respectful maternity care and how this can be done was to be discussed and we had discussed it uh, with midwives ann that today we are discussing it with our own midwives and nurses and teachers so um, next okay in the same uh, line uh, lila varki has called had called us during the society of midwives conference in raipur in 2019 and wri has invited midwifery experts to discuss the current key issues on the topic national midwifery guidelines and how they will support respectful maternity care at somi 14th national conference in raipur for the participants and speakers uh, panel will help to so we were part of the panel where what these were the main objectives raise awareness sensitive sensitize so many members about uh, common disrespectful and abusive practices and attitudes during maternity care services so we want to make them aware okay this is what is happening in some places maybe some of them have never experienced it like students nowadays students are not even going to the clinical area so how will they experience this kind of thing so they need to be told okay this is also happening empower so many members with information on rmc and how their work can identify and address this respect and abuse and facilitate so many members to understanding and development of, of including the rmc in as practitioner in midwifery scope so this is during raipur conference some of you must have attended it that that was the last uh, uh, the conference we held and now after that is all on online 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 hopefully this year 2022 we are again going to have one to one interaction that makes lot of impact uh, as compared to virtual but nevertheless virtual is also very good okay so this is what we discussed during this thing and lila varki was very uh, enthusiastic to she is a very active member of society of midwives also and uh, promotes normal natural birth okay next now in that we discussed ke um, what is respectful maternity care so this is a little gist about what is respectful maternity care this is women's experience with maternity care givers can empower and comfort them if they have good experience they will be empowered and they will be comfortable and if they have not so good experience a woman positive or negative memories for child bearing stay with her throughout li her lifetime ask those who had had good experience and ask those who had had very bad experience 
they will be frightened for the whole life uh, so this is this is how they are treated makes lot of difference studies show that violating women's rights during childbirth lead them to distrust midwives and healthcare facility if you have been good to them they'll have respect for you if you do not are not okay you they will never trust any midwife any nurse any doctor or the hospital where they had a bad experience they'll say oh i will never go to that place again so this is what women have the experience and we need to know know about it and realize it respectful maternity care is a universal human right and uh, that is due to every child bearing woman she is a janani create creator just like god they say after god it is the woman who has created this uh, this whole uh, uh, universe and still we do not respect her this is very very painful okay it includes respect for women's autonomy dignity these are the points which are to be noted she has the autonomy she can decide for herself she should have dignity she, she her dignity should be respected her feelings should be respected her privacy should be respected she should not she should have freedom from ill treatment and coercion means zabardasti with force you make her do things that she doesn't want to do consideration for privacy including option for companionship during maternity maternity care so these are the few things which are contained in the respect which are the components of respectful maternity care that every woman has a right to get it like we say patient's rights here the same rights are that of the woman also while she is giving birth to the baby now respectful maternity care is an integral part of midwifery and it is recognized globally as a critical aspect of maternal and newborn health agenda but in our uh, earlier curriculum rmc part is not given although we give them all good things but how to provide them the respectful maternity that component had not been there in the curriculum okay next okay objectives are objectives of in integrating rmc into midwifery education and prepare con content so that they 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 are sensitized midwives are sensitized our principles and respect to care ensure and enabling it's not only sensitizing them it is ensuring and enabling environment for the women and midwives it's not only women midwives for respectful maternity care why i'm saying this why i was not happy about the topic in the beginning because it is not only the midwives and i'm tell you not the midwives they are always working under a doctor in a facility whether it is a government hospital or it is a private hospital patients are admitted under the doctor so doctor has the right the top voice nurses have to listen to him there are very few nurses who would raise their voice and say no i don't want to do this because this is not right for the women we say we do advocacy of the women how much advocacy how many of nurses are doing that is a questionable thing that is why we have to have an environment it is not only the doctors and not nurses it is the doctors who need to be first sensitized about this if they are sensitized the whole staff naturally the person is the leader we cannot deny this fact that he he or she is the leader the doctor so naturally if the leader says we must respect the women the others will follow okay so environment has to be created increase satisfaction of pregnant women promote rmc as a standard of care through making the standards indicators for midwifery free led uh, care units this has been already incorporated into the government's policy uh, things which have already come in two three volumes where they have included all this thankfully it has started in the government and definitely it will go to the private institution private institution is slightly better than government institutions in delivering good care to the mothers okay next okay uh, at the curriculum level include the in the training like monitoring and assessment it's not only including in the uh, content of the curriculum it's also while you are doing the examination assessment practical examination oski ospi at that time you need to check it whether your students have understood this or not and there has to be the protocols are made they are imp implemented and how they are implemented this needs to be monitored ensure good working infrastructure for the members and uh, number of, means that should be adequate number of staff especially midwives to create an environment for midwifery led services 
the government of india under that advanced midwifery course and guidelines has created an uh, option for midwife led centers as well as obstetric led centers so where there is the in a hospital in a government hospital there will be a separate area that is only midwives are dealing with it and they are the boss then there is if they find any abnormality in the woman then they refer the woman to the to the to the doctor so it is a doctors are not referring them to the normal this thing it is every woman goes to the um, midwife first and midwife only refers the uh, person with some problems to the doctor it is the boss is now the midwife uh, 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 according to the government of india's guidelines for normal natural physiological birth which is about 85 to 90% even 95% of women should go for a normal natural birth they should be under the care of the midwife so you are the boss now that you have to keep up how do you carry your responsibility so that nobody now again snatches it away from you earlier it was snatched away from ans were doing all the deliveries in the in the periphery on their own there were hardly any doctors around no doctors around and they were managing 80% of all the labors again the time came that everything has gone to the doctors now it has to come back from the doctors to the nurses your own person um sharma bharti sharma from iim gandhi nagar now with iiph if you know her you will know her she is from gujarat she one of in one of the conferences some 10 years back she said it is not task uh, task something it said giving back to midwives and women the right they have that was she said it so many years i am going to talk to her ki you said it so many years back and now it has become a reality you know a thing which comes to your mind and you speak it up there is a universal energy intelligence a power who makes it happen so it is happening now the only thing is we need to grab it i will see i want to see how many midwives really grab this situation of midwife led uh, clinical um, these units labor board units okay okay next <clears throat> okay this is all description about the same that is you see the last line that is effective and timely implementation of quality of care protocol standards indicators for midwives similar to those put in place by lakshay you know government of india had already started the program of lakshay there were lakshay labor rooms dedicated for good care and there as you enter the labor room in the private uh, government hospitals you will see a big thing that is birth companion should be with the mother and they would monitor the services time and again quality control and things were happening in a positive way i have one institution in the, in this in my uh, city which is a lakshay this thing and uh, certified lakshay certified uh, labor room where most of the nurses are very good and doctors also but still there also when i ask that there is a board outside says that you should have a companion with the mother where is the companion so they madam they don't want it who doesn't want it doctors i said but why have you put that day, that that board outside and it's from the government of india and you are still not allowing the uh, patient's uh, mother's companion with uh, with her this is because nobody is going to check them nobody checks them so this is this monitoring should be from within you and not from outside if you feel that i need to do this then i need to do this okay next okay this is a tool where there are questions with yes or no this will tell you what are uh, there are 22 questions in this which tells you different aspects of Uh, maternal care this was given to me by lila worki only they they had collected the data on it this says like number one physical abuse is did any of the healthcare persons physically abuse you like slapping pinching during birth birthing this is this questions are being asked from the mother who had had their birth within 6 months within last 6 months during birthing your legs or other parts were tied or restrained 
Do you know earlier there used to be every delivery, every birth, lithotomy position, long back. Fortunately, that lithotomy position is not there now. Baby used to be held like this, legs up. Fortunately, with science saying, oh, it causes the brain damage to the baby, it has been stopped. So few good things have happened and still, they will still make you lie down and stretch your legs when you are having the birth. So this also has been asked. Then, was any pressure applied on your tummy to push the baby out? My God, this is what people do. Usko bolte hai, fundal pressure. Ye documented hai. You know, as the baby is not coming out, they, they got on, get, get up onto the bed. Bed, ek stool mein khade hoke, aadmi jo saath mein team hoti hai, us mein se jo gents hai, jo isko ba zyada taak hai, to usko bolenge push karo. Fundal pressure do. Mother ko itni taklif hoti hai. And still people are doing it. You think women, midwives are doing it, midwives are not doing it, it is the doctors who are doing it. My midwives are not doing it. I am very confident of them. They will keep on talking to the mother and keep on telling her. Maybe somewhere they are doing it, but mainly by the doctors. This is something criminal, criminal I must say. Was the cut on the genitals done without giving local anesthesia? Episiotomy without local anesthesia. Let me tell you one incident here. No, I'll tell you later on. Later on when I'm talking about my birthing site. Okay. Okay, next. These were the physical abuse. Non-consented care. Did the health providers take verbal consent from you before administering any drug to increase the labor pains? Drip lagate hain, batate bhi nahi hain ki hum aapko pitocin drip de rahe hain to enhance your this thing. Some people may say some may not say it. Did the healthcare providers take the consent, written consent from you to administer any drug or increase written consent? Even if the written consent is, they will ask you to sign it. Nobody will read it and tell you that this is what it is. And nobody questions. That is the problem. Because people don't question, the authorities keep on telling you what to do. Did anyone ask you the choice of selecting your birth position? No. 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 Nobody. Lie down in the bed and have the delivery. Do you allow them to have any position that they want? No. Did anyone take verbal consent from you doing any examination? PV karne ja rahe hain, kuch nahi batate hain and they just do the PV examination. The person feels very, very uncomfortable. Did anyone take consent from you before doing any examination on you? Okay, next. Nothing of this kind happens. Non-dignified care. Was the need for a privacy respected during examination? I told you, they do not. So many people are hanging around. Students bhi hain, wahan pe, teachers bhi hain, wahan pe. Itne dher saare log hain, aap unka PV examination kar rho, khulke. Horrible. Was the need for a privacy respected during birthing? Screen lagai thi, nahin. Less attendance in the room. These are the things which remind us, this is what we need to do. These questions are not just for question. This is all, all of us who attending this i don't know how many are attending how many are attending oh there are no participants there are only three participants ruby no, madam this is uh, no i'm ma not talking uh, to the is, people i'm only talking to you huh? no ma'am uh, this is our um, our link and the others link are different ma'am these speakers achha, achha, speaker. they are they are there are some people attending it. Who are the people? Huh. Yes, ma'am. Who is it? Others are there, ma'am. No, no, who is it? Who is it? You know, there are faculty, there are students. Ma'am, all are, ma'am. With the Facebook, it is open, ma'am. But are you sure people are listening? Are you sure people are listening? Otherwise, I am just talking. Ma'am, 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 from the one link practical point the of view. Link. These are not theoretical things which you will... Uh, I mean, theoretical things are there, but then practical things are important if you really want to improve the respectful maternity care aspect to our mothers. Right? Okay. okay. Was the linen used to use for your screen? Uh, were your clinical findings and investigations kept confidential? Don't know. Anyways, next. Hmm. Uh, discrimination. Did you experience any discrimination with, with you because of your economic status? I told you in India, it is economic status. Garib log hote hain, to unko kaise bhi treat kar lo. 
then did you experience any discrimination because of your caste religion culture in india i have not seen it even uh, people especially if they are uh, sitting in a, living in a community they all live together there is not not, not much of uh, discrimination did health personnel use abusive or bad language during delivery you people can find out ki what is happening okay next next okay abandonment and neglect were you left alone during labor and did not receive any nursing or medication medical attention this happens many times did any healthcare person tell you that you can bring health your own birth companion most of the places they don't allow now even husbands are being allowed in private hospitals mostly they allow were you allowed to take birth companion okay did healthcare providers monitor you continuously in labor room again this is a this is also questionable okay next okay ruby to be madam next 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 slide next slide please okay detention i told you they don't give the baby give me some money give me something okay chal next so these were the questions which were asked now besides these things there are many other things which also need to be included in the curriculum that is communication technique we all have been taught and time and again but how much are we using the communication technique with our people let me tell you when we started our own birthing center and but those nurses they who were working with me for after a year i asked them what difference do you find in you after working in this birthing center for one year they said madam we are changed we are changed from inside now when we talk to the mother it is a totally different the way we used to talk earlier so this makes the difference if you keep on pro- practicing the right things it becomes your habit it becomes your habit okay rmc and communication after bereavement many times there is a still birth how do we communicate with the mother that is also comes under respect to maternity care ki there is a loss how do we take care of the mother and how do we talk how do we communicate then rmc with maternal death if mother dies how do you deal with the family what do you do that is also respect to maternity care again newborn death baby may be alive and then baby dies this happens then how do we talk and severe maternal morbidity you see patient ko pph ho gaya and and you need to do many things that money also is needed so how do you deal, deal with the family and with the mother if there is a such a problem rmc and communication after the birth of an abnormal child a baby is born which is abnormal so how do we look after the mother how do we communicate how do we provide the respectful maternity care and respectful maternity care during psychological morbidities of women postpartum mm. postpartum blues postpartum depression all those are part of respectful maternity care and these need to be included in our curriculum even if it is not already there after this you can use my my ppts are full of uh, information which can pre- help you to prepare a curriculum on one or two or three lectures on rcm rmc that is respect to maternity care okay next okay now i tell you our experience we at choitram college of nursing by a college started a natural birthing center under the care of the college faculty in a hospital in a private hospital one of its kind in whole of the country that is the reason government of india invited me to be part of it and they asked me to present it calling it indoor model 
because if you can practice it this will be a thing that many things we can take from you ki okay we want to so, so dinesh baswal he sent his gentleman doctor uh, to me and he said we want to learn what you do and they did see our opd as well as our birthing center so what how we are done it was a long process we we formed a dedicated and compassionate team all my faculty members masters and bscs something like 7 to 8 of them they were very dedicated and very compassionate and most of them most of them all of them were society midwives uh, in india's uh, members and we used to attend all the conferences and i tell you after tna i have tna better than tna i society midwives india that does lot of lot of good work for the uh, help of for midwives as well as for the women okay so we have a team we discuss among ourselves and with the women on what do they want so we may met the women and asked their stories and asked them so two of them had come to us i had invited them one had had a very good experience in australia the other had a bad experience in indore she had taken at um, lamaz training with her husband from hyderabad came back to indore and the doctor promised that okay whatever you say i'll do when she went for the she, she started pains and she went there and somebody was doing her pv examination she was asked to lie down she said i don't want to lie down no you need a drip she said i don't need a drip then they were doing her pv examination and she saw an instrument in the oh. hand of the doctor pokers forceps for breaking the membrane and she stopped her she said stop i don't want you to break my membranes my membranes will break when they will break doctor got very angry she removed her gloves and threw them away and called the senior doctor ki kaise patient mujhe diye hai she is questioning me you know patients do not question their doctors nurses do not question the doctors so then she remember okay that lady okay leave her leave her i'll send somebody else to look after her you may leave her so she left her it was a private hospital and a private doctor another doctor came but the atmosphere had gone bad so she had some problem so i had invited these two girls who are educated one had a good very experience in australia the other one had a, this kind of experience in indore they came and met my team and then they said ki madam aap uh, you have started an opd for them why don't you start on birthing center and i give this credit of starting the birthing center to these two girls that they are the ones who asked me to start it and we started it okay so we wanted we asked the women and we we discussed we developed philosophy prepared objectives and strategies the whole proposal we prepared and submitted to the authorities and then we succeeded we could start the center and we never looked back the center is existing there although uh, our whole team has left and the center is not functioning as well as it used to be when the whole team was there but nevertheless we have created a thing that uh, that 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 has given many people motivation like navneeta she has done it in her own private hospital in um, uttarakhand uh, so there are many people who are starting and parul university can also start it in your own hospital okay chalo next okay our philosophy was that philosophy it was birth is a normal human process and not a biomedical one means it's a human thing it's in human physiology we do not need doctors as far as possible if we prepare them properly all 100% can go for if not 100% i say 97% can go for a normal natural birth very few will need need a help of a doctor okay next ha huh. our vision was to have babies from healthy mother born to healthy mothers and to fulfill that vision the mission that we created is to provide safe sensitive and skilled care to mothers and to enhance the health and well being of the newborn the safe sensitive and skilled these three, three things are taken from midwifery model of care by society of midwives india we should the care we give should be safe we should be sensitive to them and we should be skilled good skilled so that we can help the mother and the baby to have a normal natural birth then to build mother self confidence in handling child birth and empowering her with appropriate information knowledge and skill and support so these all these things are the contents of our mission and how do we carry out uh, this mission to fulfill this mission are our activities so that in, will come in the next 
next okay next so you can see the background here ki in in choitram what we did 2012 we started our own clinic where i asked for a room you know you should be active there was a clinic where doctors clinics are there doctors are given a room to start, do their clinic and nurses if they are the health teaching you will find everywhere they do have a room they stand in the corridors in the opds or in this they don't have a dedicated place for them a room for them where they can start teach their patients in health teaching health teaching of all kinds here i asked for a room in that opd i need a room and i'll set it up properly and where my nurses will go there and sit there and they will counsel all the mothers who are coming to your clinics to the obstetrician they all will come to us and we will have this okay we got it and we started it 2015 we started another clinic in our own big hospital again i asked for a room they were not giving me room i said okay my room i used to be having a room there so i said i'll give the room and then we started there so we had two clinics where we were preparing the mothers and that is the time when these two girls met and they said ki you prepare them but then when they go land up with the doctors they don't bother about whatever you have been taught they will say do this 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 all that who will ask them so you need a place why don't you create a place so we did so we started our birthing center called swa in hindi okay now before that 2005 onwards we were doing the research projects of our master students which could be creative which could be useful to the mothers so we used we did studies on alternate methods to reduce the discomfort of uh, labor throughout the uh, these 7 uh, years 7 to 8 years and we were ready with the uh, with the uh, evidence created by us although it's not created by us alone followed by i mean replicated by us so we had the evidence so when we in 2016 we started our midwife led natural birthing center back back aage badha diya aapne abhi ek point rehta hai na usme over ma'am that was it हाँ जी सिक्सटीन में वी स्टार्टेड इट इट्स फंक्शनिंग वेल बिकॉज ऑफ कोरोना थोड़ा स्लो हो गया अदरवाइज इट्स वर्किंग वेरी वेल एंड देन इन नाइनटीन वेन आई गॉट रिटायर्ड आई स्टार्टेड माई ओन क्लिनिक आई कॉल्ड इट मॉम मेरेकल्स ऑफ मदरहुड एंड इट इज माई ओन क्लिनिक आई आई कंडक्ट इट एट होम आई कंडक्ट इट इन द क्लिनिक एज वेल एज आई एम राइटिंग अ बुक इन दैट ने ऑन नेचुरल बर्थिंग सेंटर नेचुरल बर्थ ओके ओके नेक्स्ट नाउ okay this is this is uh, how why do we prepare them make them mentally and physically strong okay next uh, this this is our team working with the mother you can see they are sitting on the floor chatai bichai hui hai sare birthing uh, yoga pranayam sitting on the ball all those things that we had created the evidence that we applied on these women throughout pregnancy as well as during labor this is during pregnancy we are preparing that we have a dedicated our own room where they comfortably sit and do the uh, all that teaching okay next um, okay in that what all mainly mainly the things that we teach is pranayam anulom vilom brahmari yoga asan different poses meditation acupressure and music therapy and aroma therapy these are the main things besides that there is hydrotherapy there is uh, um, walking around etc etc okay next next ha uh, this is, this is i call it natural birth, birth bundle i as you have in uh, icus uh, um, wap bundle you know ventricular this thing um urinary tract infection can't care bundle like you have in icu same way we have for us this this bundle which has got 14 points and all these are tested companion with the the, the husband is helping uh, squatting is the best thing meditation acupressures are very good which help relief of pain sitting on a ball all these thing reduce the labor pain and make them more stronger and they are ready to bear the pain without any medical thing okay next
next now this was the point i wanted to discuss with you although we had made the calls although the team doctors were also given uh, uh, workshops by dedicated team from uh, um, national health services from uk still doctors were not cooperate so number one we had said we called it swa uh, we should persuade for birth companion during birth let the woman be the decision maker promote sit up squatting position for easy birthing warm perineal compresses let the woman breathe out her baby slowly we teach her how to breathe out the baby if at all needed do restricted episiotomy after crowning of the head delayed cord clamping immediate skin to skin early initiation of breastfeeding avoid routine suctioning and avoid vigorous cleaning of the baby these were the points put on the labor ward inside where the mother is birthing so that people are reminded now in this context i would like to say once i went there i saw the head of the department obstetrician is conducting the delivery she sent away the relative mother was with the uh, with the mother with mother her mother was there she sent her away and she did her episiotomy and the mother jumped in her bed because the local anesthesia which was given had not had effect usko itni pain hui ki wo apne bed pe jumped and cried i felt very bad i came out after that i said i need to do something about it um my colleague said talk to that lady so i was it was not possible for me to talk to her i couldn't talk to her next day i wrote a letter a very nasty letter to her and sent it with my one senior person she opened it and she was very annoyed she said look she has written a such a nasty letter to me i am a nurse a midwife and she is a doctor and she she gets a letter from me that you did this 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 which was not i said you have signed the protocol with me and you cannot do this what you did she got annoyed still she came back and she talked to me and next time when she came to do the case she said bring me a chair i will sit and wait otherwise this woman will again come and uh, catch me so you need to be a service yes. assertive to see what you plan that is done hello yes sir what's happening you be next next please okay these are the 10 mantras that we tell our midwives build her a nest mean woman build her a nest make her cozy comfortable get her off the bed she should be walking around then only she will have with gravity the baby will come down faster justify intervention if you want to do any justify justify it listen to her have a companion of woman choice keep records mental also trust your intuition midwife should have intuition be a role model be sensitive be positive give her constant reassurance from birth to baby to this breast and initiating breastfeeding immediately and delayed cord clamping okay next these are the things that you need to do every woman can do this is what we had been doing these are the pictures this is the real pictures of our mothers uh, of us looking after them my 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 midwives okay next these are our happy mothers with their husbands husbands were most of them they had their husband with them when they had the baby and they they all did for ki we will not have any medication for pain relief we will have bear our own pain this is the first one um this one the first mother uh, at night 2 o'clock we had she had birth the baby okay next and this girl arancha she is a doula who came from spain and she stayed with us two days uh, now uh, earlier than then she she stayed in that birthing center she was there for three weeks and she helped us and we learned a lot from her and she comes every year because of corona she couldn't come next year she will be coming and again helping us with the care of the women supporting the women okay next so for the midwives they need to use their expertise their intuition and their wisdom if they use them they can be 
very good midwives giving total care and respectful maternity care to our mothers and having very healthy babies and we have experienced this in our center and we are very proud to say that yes these things do work and they have been working very well okay next hmm take home message wrong trends in maternity care should be recognized jo ho raha hai usko dekhna hai samajhna hai and discard it deliberately with effort उनको दूर करें यह हमारी जिम्मेवारी है ये नहीं है कि पीपल आर डूइंग इट नो इफ वी सी एनीथिंग रॉन्ग हैपनिंग वी मस्ट रेज आर वॉइस बी दी रियल एडवोकेट टू आर मदर्स गुड आर एम सी ट्रेंड्स नीड टू बी क्रिएटेड एंड सपोर्टेड विद एविडेंस थ्रू रिसर्च दैट इज वॉट वी डू दैट इज वॉट वी डिड वाई डिड आई डिस्कस माई वर्क हेयर इज बिकॉज वी हैव डन इट एंड वी हैव सीन दैट येस इट वर्क वेरी वेल ओके इवन द डॉक्टर्स माइंड आर चेंज their minds need to be changed mothers women's mind to be need changed it's not only the 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 midwives whose minds need to be changed okay best practices in rmc should be documented published widely to motivate doctors and nurses to make their make it their habit in daily practice you see i take out this journal indian journal of nursing studies every journal will have something or there this time it's going to have some else also iparul university is not taking this journal for nurse please take it because you will have a component on midwifery free care in this journal okay hmm next thank you but if there is this minutes i that poem i have given you please project that that's a very touching poem it's in words so you will have to scroll it slowly is it visible ma'am ha huh. yeah it's visible is it visible to others i do not know see this is the one dula medi had written it when i saw it i thought it's very appropriate to share it with you today okay so it says all that matters is a live baby is it really so no there is much more than that the woman feels that matters so she says here does it matter everyone has an opinion about your body does it matter that you feel like a child being told what you are allowed and but not allowed to do yani when we are telling the mother do this do that she is saying it she is feeling it inside इट्स द मदर हु इज टॉकिंग कि क्या मैं बच्चा हूं कि मुझे बोल रहे हो ये करो वो करो मेरी बॉडी पे आप ही लोगों को अधिकार है यू कैन हैव दिनियन अबाउट माई बॉडी दिस इज माई बॉडी दिस इज वेरी प्राइवेट टू मी देन डज इट मैटर दैट ऑन पेपर यू हैव चॉइस आपसे कंसेंट लेते हैं बट इन प्रैक्टिस यू फील परसुएडेड मैनिपुलेटेड खिचोर्ड एंड कोएस टू डू इन टू थिंग्स ऑन पेपर देर इज समथिंग एल्स एंड as i told you outside there is a board where everything is put there inside you are persuaded you are manipulated you are cajoled ki aisa karna hi padega nahi karoge to tumhare bachche ko nuksan hoga aisa bola jata hai hmm? okay does it matter that on the induction ward you feel alone and lonely i told you you give her induction she is getting the pitocin drip nobody is monitoring ki kitna ja raha hai aur usko itni pyaar dard ho rahi hai and she feel i can die here she feels so lonely does it matter that you feel abundant confused let down promised things that never materialize or told something different by every member of staff you meet and there are many see this is the reality aapko bola jata nahi sab theek hoga kuch problem nahi hai lekin hota kya hai opposite you are promised certain thing and then whatever happen this is i'm not writing it and i'm not saying it this is somebody else said it and this is the truth okay does it matter that you need support or clinical care and no one comes many a time they are left they are just left alone okay next uh does it thoda sa scroll karo thoda aur karo mujhe pansani ho ki okay does it matter uh, that you are con confined to the bed 
matter when every fiber of your being is urging you to up 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 to rock and to rotate your aching hips say you make them lie down un wo chahti hai hum khadam ho hum chale phire hum move kare hum apni position different position le jisse hame dard kam ho this is you know for all those who are attending it or going to see it please follow these thing these are this is a mother is saying it so help her this is what she wants she wants to walk around she doesn't want to remain on the bed or does it matter you feel hurried jaldi karo jaldi karo deri ho rahi hai bachche ko kuch ho jayega you know bahana every time and as soon as you say bachche ko kuch ho jayega mother feels okay mera mere ko bachcha alive chahiye na to jo bhi karenge main karungi kahenge main karungi okay does it matter that people keep prodding and poking your most sensitive parts यानी जब बिजाइनल एग्जामिनेशन करते हैं उनको कितना तकलीफ होती है नॉट स्टॉपिंग वेन आस्ट डज इट मैटर वेन द इन्फेक्शन सेट्स इन और यूर ब्लड प्रेशर स्पाइक्स एंड यूर बेबीज हार्ट टर्न इन टू ए गैलोपोरस और टू ए स्लो ट्रॉट इन प्रोटेस्ट मीन्स दे आर डिस्टर्बिंग यूर हॉर्मोन्स एनी मैनिपुलेशन एनी मेडिकेशन एनी नॉट वॉन्टेड मेडिकलाइजेशन is disturbing the natural hormones of the woman if you allow them the birth happens on its own every mother knows how to birth a baby and every baby knows how to get out of the womb nature mein ye ho raha hai nature mein jab koi kisi ko bachcha paida karna hota hai to wo quiet jagah pe baithte hain andhere mein baithte hain yahan pe hum sare ke sare log unke upar khade ho jate hain mother ke and the mother we are poking and 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 being very insensitive to her okay next is thoda upar karo a little bit does it matter that they talk over you about you as you lie on your back legs akimbo akimbo means aise pheki hui dur dur to taking out of your body like vines seeing the sunlight wo aapke baat kar aapke bare mein baat kar rahe hain wo baat kar ja rahe hain kuch bhi bol rahe hain aur aap lete hue ho बैक पे आप उठने की दिल करता आपकी तो कोई परवाह नहीं करता दिस इज वॉट द मदर्स आर थिंग कि आपको बोलते हैं लेग स्ट्रेच करो लेग स्ट्रेच करो डज इट मैटर यू फील यू आर फॉलोइंग फॉलोइंग डाउन 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 फर्दर एंड फर्दर फ्रॉम द काइंड ऑफ बर्थ यू वॉन्टेड फॉर यू एंड योर बेबी पता नहीं बड़े सपने देखे थे कि मैं ऐसा करूंगी वैसा करूंगी जैसे मैंने उस लड़की के बारे में आपको बताया कि शी वॉज प्रोमिस के नहीं उसका बहुत अच्छे से बर्थ होगा उसका उसके हस्बैंड ने हैदराबाद में जाके लमाज की ट्रेनिंग ली लेकिन जब एनशी लैंडेड अप विद डॉक्टर्स दे 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 वर वेरी डिफरेंट डज इट मैटर दैट यू वर्क फॉर दिस बर्थ डूइंग योर रिसर्च मेकिंग योर डिसीजंस अंडरस्टैंडिंग रिस्क एक्सप्लोरिंग अल्टरनेटिव्स कीपिंग योर बॉडी फिट एंड हेल्दी लर्निंग टू स्टे काम एंड नाउ दैट सीम्स लाइक अ डिस्टेंट ड्रीम एंड यू आर ड्राउनिंग यू नो सेम थिंग हैपेंड वी प्रिपेयर द मदर्स वन मदर वन सच मदर when she came to the hospital another doctor was there she was my own mother my own mother means my one of my patients and doctor says tumhara to cesarean hoga kyunki tumhara baby ka heart beat theek nahi hai i had to tell her i told her ki give her time she was not agreeing the doctor i went to the director i told the director i said see i am going out today for a conference and i am leaving one of my very good girls with the mother please tell your doctor not to take her for cesarean because what i feel is she doesn't need a cesarean all things seem to be better not only to me but my whole team and we could do it my girls looked after her well no no cesarean we did not allow them to do the cesarean on her and the nice healthy baby was born to her so this is what mothers feel that they don't have the voice we need to become their voice okay does it matter when staff are not warm and kind does it matter that you feel so lonely surrounded by so many people now these are the things that we need to this poem i am reading to you is with the purpose that this is what we need to do and i am very happy that my team my girls they were doing this move karo uh, scroll it please this is the last okay okay then ha ha uh, huh, mujhe laga aur hai okay कहा गया हाँ हाँ मूव इट मूव इट मे भी दूसरा पेज है ना ओके ओके डज इट मैटर वेन दे कट यू हाँ वेन दे डू दी एपिसोड मी 
ओके बैटरी इज गोइंग योर बैटरी इज गोइंग है ना ओके वॉट दिस इज डज इट मैटर दैट दे कट यू डज इट मैटर वेन यू हैव डाउन देर फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ मेनी पीपल हैव वेन दे हैव एपिसोड में इन्फेक्शन एंड स्कार टिश्यू फॉर्म्स एंड लेटर ऑन दे हैव लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इन डूइंग सेक्स सो दिस इज वी शुड नॉट इग्नोर दिस टू दिस वाई दे से इट्स बेटर नॉट टू एपिसोड में इफ एट ऑल रिक्वायर्ड cut is better heels better a small uh, tear heels better than a episiotomy okay be careful no episiotomy as far as possible do the days on postnatal ward okay here it is that if you have problem with the baby we need to help them with the baby so that the baby and the mother both are comfortable does it matter that the healthy baby you take home abu ghar chal Hai, and fights you because it keeps crying, crying, crying because you have not how to feed the baby. So in my place, we had a lactation who would prepare the mother very well during their stay in the hospital itself that they could feed them. Successful feeding will be possible. Does it matter? You can never stop crying. Means that is postpartum problem. Does it matter that you dream of the birth and wake sweating night and night? night after night means you had such a horrible experience that keeps you awake that is postpartum postpartum blues or postpartum depression does it matter that you can't feed your baby properly again the same thing that is that and you feel very guilty and then you feed the person on baby on formula which is harmful to the baby does it matter that your mental health is in decline you know mental health in postnatal period is important that also needs to be considered by midwives um does it matter that this healthy baby will be formula fed matlab ki you did not teach her properly she could not feed the baby properly and if the person is fed on formula with all the increased risk for allergy infection obesity diabetes all those things people who have breastfeeding the children who have breastfeeding are healthier than as compared to babies who are bottle fed by formula does it matter that you will have an increased lifetime risk of female cancers because you did not breastfeed the baby so you will have breast, uh, uh, the fear of having cancers does it matter that every time you hear birth mentioned you sweat and shiver and shower in fury thoda uda upar karo स्क्रॉल इट अप 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 और और करो मोर या ओके दिस इज द एंड ओके डज इट मैटर सी इट इज फॉर द मिडवाइफ डज इट मैटर दैट मिडवाइफ गो होम एवरी डे एंड सॉब उनको रोना आता है नोइंग ऑल दिस येट अनएबल टू चेंज इट दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम this is the problem you want to change that's why that's why i say my midwives my nurses are never bad they are very good at heart and they want to do the best they want to do it is the other team other team we need to work with and we need to persuade them that is my experience with my doctors okay so midwives are 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 not to be blamed it is the whole team and institution to be blamed okay um does it matter that social society sees none of this इवन सोसाइटी में सब हो रहा है नहीं देखते हैं डज इट मैटर दैट नो वन सीज द रिपल इफेक्ट अक्रॉस लाइफ टाइम एंड डाउन थ्रू द जनरेशन हम कब से देख रहे हैं हम बात बहुत करते हैं माई गॉड टूडे ऑल्सो वी आर टॉकिंग आई विश दिस पारोल इंस्टीट्यूट डज नॉट जस्ट टॉक एंड मेक मी टॉक पुट इट इन टू प्रैक्टिस पुट इट इन टू प्रैक्टिस इट्स पॉसिबल टू चेंज द होल थिंग does it matter that the pinnacle of our society's aspirations is just the live births ya hame sirf zinda bachche chahiye ya hame healthy efficient happy mother bhi chahiye we are we should keep her happy then all then only we will have the new generation as happy and uh, uh, healthy does it matter it feels like you don't matter so uh, this mother is again asking you ki aapko farak padta hai कि मैं आई ऑल्सो मैटर डज इट मैटर डज इट मैटर डज इट मैटर सी इट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल माइंड शेकिंग पोएम वेन आई रेड दिस पोएम आई रोट द कैप्शन स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड आई टेल यू आफ्टर टू थ्री डेज योर 
this thing came that you uh, want me to talk mm. so i thought i will talk about this poem i'll read this poem to you, all of you uh, because it gives you it gives you a real message and it gives you uh, uh, authority authority the you are the advocates of the mother and you need to look after her and the mothers will be very happy under your care thank you very much ruby back to you thank you so much ma'am thank you so much ma'am for importing such uh, hmm. this kind of the knowledge even though i am not that much aware of this much knowledge ma'am are you an obstetric person yes, ma'am gynae obstetrical to bhai aisa karo ek to aap are you member of society of midwives india i just i am applying ma'am ah become a member oh. attend all the conferences get all the information that they give you lot of information and lot of work Uh, they are doing and uh, we are uh, working in this area and doing some good things all because of being a member of somi okay that gives me gives me and and all tribute go to all the members uh, all the all the all our stalwarts in somi especially prakash amma who initiated this uh, organization and and i requ request you parul uh, uh, ruby that parul institute has their own hospital yes ma'am you have your own yes, hospital you have it yes to so start a opd yes ma'am opd health teaching opd banao apne liye usme puri information rakho and whatever we are doing if you want more information from me i can give you more information and on my work that we did in this thing navneeta who is in uttarakhand she was never my student and she was never my teacher and she never worked with me but she was in the town she took all the information and she does it in that uh, uttarakhand usne wahan pe uttarakhand mein somi ka chapter banwaya aur apne institution mein sab kiya abhi another college is organizing one symposium some kind of thing um, uh, faculty developed program and she has invited four of us four three four people and uh, on on different aspects so uh, this is our uh, giving back to mothers and midwives the right to look after themselves to look after each other hai na isse kya hoga hamari future generation hai na the babies who were born in with natural birth birth in natural birth center and they born in a routine thing unme bahut farak tha unke development mein there were lot of difference we are doing a study yes. long times long, long this thing first year second year till 5 years these children these babies are being watched ki how they are maybe life long and it gives us so much to do research aapko research ke liye topics nahi milte hain to aap agar if you start your own birthing center your own opd you will have so much to research on right. you can replicate the research that we have done yes. so it is something uh, something that is not difficult to apply man bana lo sure ma'am kuch acha karke dikhao yaar zindagi ka maza aa jata hai sure ma'am sure you know we'll get that ka maza usme hai ki aap kuch jo aapke andar aaya wo aapne kar liya i could do this and i feel very happy and i give all credit to my team wo kahin kahin baithe hue hain lekin un logon ne itna kaam kiya hai ki it was because of the team sure okay. ma'am with the so, touch of you uh, all the best to you we will do ma'am surely please do it and sometime mujhe bhi inform bhi kar dena uh, you can you, you can subscribe the journal जर्नल भी सब्सक्राइब करना और इसमें आपका टॉपिक में आई डू नॉट चार्ज एनी बडी फॉर पुटिंग देयर रिसर्च आर्टिकल्स ओके चलो ठीक है ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू सो मच मैम थैंक यू बाय बाय हुज योर प्रिंसिपल रविंद्र मैम यस मैम डॉक्टर रविंद्र कीप माय रिगार्ड्स टू हिम श्योर मैम मिलता नहीं है मुझे आई डोंट सी हिम आई हैव एसोसिएटेड long back with him and so tell him so ma'am he was remembering remember you ma'am in study also he is uh. he was talking about you <laughs> okay okay tell him uh, okay okay good good thank you bye take care you too ma'am